The police department in one mountain town is being asked to find places to cut as the town's new budget gets hammered out. And one idea could lead to officers paying for their own gas. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us live from the Western News Center. And Rex, what else is being considered? Whether Maggie Valley police officers will continue taking patrol cars home. The police chief is working with town leaders but does not want to give up safety. We're looking at budget cuts. Maggie Valley's new budget is supposed to be done July 1st. Town leaders asking the police department to cut 10%. There's not room for 10%. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you one patrol car. I'm not, I'm not happy about that, but I'm going to give you one patrol car, you know, to help move this process along. Chief Scott Sutton is willing to give up one new patrol car, but not safety. To get to 10% out of my budget without getting rid of positions or reducing the level of service is impossible. We're not holding them, you know, to exactly 10 percent, but yes, that's what we've asked for. Mayor Ron Simone says the town has a budget surplus, but he's looking for maximum efficiency. This is the conversation that's taken a, a place all over the country. With high gas prices, he wants to look at the policy allowing officers to take patrol cars home. The overall cost savings in that is very minimal. We've got some officers that live quite a distance out of town. Uh, you know, if we're not putting as much wear and tear on the car and when, you know, that's in, maybe those cars will last a little longer. Also a request to the police chief to consider officers paying for gas if they live a certain mileage away. If they live over those 14 miles, we basically come up with a formula on the mile based on the average of gas that the officer reimburses the town. That mileage could end up being less. Uh, that's something that's, again, being tossed around. The mayor cautions many things are being looked at. Uh, I think there's going to be a slight tax uh, in decrease. And some big impacts. Some of that will probably affect the staff. And another budget workshop is scheduled for Monday morning. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.